guys welcome back it's me Jenny okay guys we have a DIY project today haven't done this video for a while and I figure let me do one for you guys today we are going to create this really cute little um jar with a pretty flower and some petals inside with wrapped around with pretty lace I Instagram this um, a while ago because I actually did this quite a while back and I got really nice reviews and so I figured um, let me show you guys how I did this it's so easy guys this is so simple and whatever we're gonna use in this project most of the stuff that we're gonna use most likely you have at home okay and um, if you don't have them at home I can oh I'm gonna guide you through what you can use um, they most likely all of us have at home that we can probably um, work around this little project okay so today we're gonna create I can't hold it it's supposed to be like this obviously but I can't hold it like that because you can't really see the decoration on it but it's gonna be this really cute simple and easy little tiny little vase that you created and you can always obviously put this on top of your counter or next to your makeup section maybe your bathroom living room wherever you want I put it in a little corner um, by my uh, craft room and it looks really simple and cute okay so let's get started what you're gonna need for this project very simple all these items most of these items we all have at home the most important thing you're gonna need is an empty jar okay any empty jar would work the empty candle jars the ones from Beth and Body Works those work perfect um, any jars that um, come in like spaghettis spaghetti sauce or gel I mean, anything that's a bottle you're gonna need okay now for what I showed you which was this one right here I use this particular jar I like these because these are smaller and they're tinier they're not that tall but by all means if you like the tall ones use the tall ones okay I never throw away my jars um, I recycle my jars anything that I can use my jars for I use them all the um, for example this is a tomato sauce jar that I use and inside I keep all my little um, my uh, my little things this is a fake here let me open it up for you these are fake um see fake little um strawberries I keep them in here get them by the shelves and it's a perfect um perfect organization little tip for you so don't throw out any of your empty jars okay so with that being said we're gonna need an empty jar for this project you're also going to be using to fill in your jar some um, I use glass gel gems see this glass gems I get these at Michaels and these come in gazillions of different colors as you can see here um, I'm gonna be using this pink one today um, I also have this purple one and I have tons of other different colors these are very easy to find um, again you can find them at Michaels and they're called here let me go up close if you can see there they're called glass gel um, gems okay very easy to find Michael oh Michaels always has these on sale okay we're gonna use the pink one um now <coughs> excuse me if you don't have um, these kind of gems you can always use pearls you can always use beads you can always use buttons um, you can use sand whatever you can use to fill your jar you can use okay it doesn't have to be these um, the next thing you need obviously is going to be flowers um, pick whatever flowers you want most of these are from Michaels you can also use if you want feathers that's also really cute um, just cut them out don't cut them too short because depending on the size of your jar it depends how tall you want your flower so for example 
Um, this particular jar is much smaller than the one we're going to use. So obviously I can't really cut um, my flour for this jar this size because then it's going to be too small. So just a word of advice, make sure you cut it long enough um, that it's going to fit the jar that you are going to be using and then you can always recut it again okay you don't once you cut it and it's too short you can't really do nothing with it but if you cut it long enough you can always go back and recut it okay that's what we're gonna need um some kind of lace ribbon whatever you want to use to decorate your jar is fine you can use burlap you can use ribbon you can use fabric whatever you want that's all really what we're going to need. Um, basically, that's all. So, this is such a simple project, okay? Very easy and simple. I'm going to empty out my gems so that you guys can see. All right, so we are going to fill in the empty jar with these gems. Now, you can mix match them if you want. It's up to you. It doesn't have to be um, those colors. I also have these colors that I can mix match them with. Um, you know what? We'll use the purple too. How about that? I wasn't planning to use this purple, but why not? For the sake of the video, we can also use these purples. Okay. Put them all in there. A good, decent amount. All right. So... This particular jar does not have anything in the front. You can always use a label if you want. You can use stickers. Whatever you want to do to decorate your jar, you can do. I'm going to decorate my jar with ribbon and lace, so I'm not going to really do anything in front of my jar. But if you had one that you wanted to decorate, my own, you know, go right ahead. No big deal. You can do that. I'm drinking my iced coffees. Delicious. Okay, so... Let's uh let's fill in the jar. It's gonna sound very loud, sorry. I might need more actually because this jar is pretty tall. Let's see, maybe not. Maybe this is perfect. See that? We're going to need a little bit more. So I'm going to put a little bit more of the purple in there. There we go. Just mixing the colors in there so it looks a little bit more unified. Okay, very good. Step one is done. Fill your jar with these pretty glass gems, okay? Perfect. Now, get your flower, whatever flower you're going to put in there, and make sure you trim it, like I said. You're going to trim it to the size um, a little bit bigger than your jar, okay? Um, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you this, guys, earlier, but you're going to need some kind of pliers to cut your flower, okay? Or scissors. Pliers work best, but if you have scissors, that's fine too. Okay, so here we go. Obviously, my flower is way too big, but that's okay because I'm going to measure it. See that? So we need it to be a little bit more shorter. So I'm just going to cut it this way. Very good. And voila. Look how pretty that looks. See that? So pretty. Very good. All right. Very good. Let me take my flower out of the way for now because I want to decorate my jar. And I'm only going to use very simple items. I'm just going to use this pretty pink ribbon or lace rather. And I'm just going to wrap it around the center. Okay. You can't really see. Let me see if I, have, if, I, if I had a top for this, which I do, but... Okay, I'm going to lay this down. Because you guys can't really see with the angle that I'm at right now. You're not going to be able to see this. 
my gems are gonna fall off but that's okay that's okay because I want you guys to see what I'm doing okay so simply just I'm simply just doing a cute little bow okay just like this in front of my jar and again you can either use a bow you can um, stickers flowers you can do whatever you want to your jar however you want to decorate your jar you can do okay all right I'm gonna cut off the extra lace that we have here I'm gonna fix my cute little bow okay and just like that see that you see the little bow how pretty simple right but very cute okay now I'm gonna add the gems back into the jar I'm gonna put my flower in my jar and I'm done this is so simple and so easy see that look how pretty that looks guys how pretty and lovely that looks can you imagine how cute this is going to look on top of your counter or on top of your dresser even the bathroom very cute very cute and very simple okay all right guys very good i hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys want to see more pictures better pictures because obviously um this is not really a good angle but if you guys want to see better pictures of this project um stop by my blog okay i'm going to be posting some pictures on my in my blog with um directions on how to do this as well and i'm also going to probably instagram this so you'll probably see better pictures in my instagram i'll link everything below so you guys can um take a look now remember if you guys want to decorate your jar with burlap you can also do that i have this cute little tag here that i bought not too long ago i was thinking i didn't want to do it with this particular jar but if you want you can also decorate this with a burlap you can simply just glue this on on this side like that and that will look really cute or you can put pass a ribbon through here go around your jar and then connect it on this end and make a cute little bow as well and that would also look very cute okay all right guys i hope you enjoy this simple and easy video um i hope you guys have a good day and i will see you soon on my next video bye my loves